welcome to DC today here on Thursday. It's February 29th, which I don't get to say all that often. In fact, only about every four years. Wish everyone a happy leap year here. Um, but it's good to be with you all. We had uh, a good day in, in markets. The markets were up. Dow was up about 47 points. Closed just off of the highs. So we, we built on some gains into the close, which is great. And as had been anticipated, we got our PCE data out today. We had the headline number up 0.3% for the month of January, and which registered a 2.4% year-over-year number. That was down from 2.6 last month. So the year-over-year -year number continues to trend lower on headline, which is really good. Same thing with core. If you strip out food and energy, we were up 0.4% for the month of January, which is what most of the media headlines are capturing, you know, that inflation has ticked up. But it was widely expected that that was going to be the case. And then year over year, we still ticked down to 2.8% on core PCE versus a year ago. That's down from 2.9. So both numbers were in line, almost exactly in line, frankly, and both showing continued progress towards 2%. Um, so, you know, Fed futures today were not very much changed. This is the last data point or the last major data point before we get our March 19th and 20th Fed meeting. So they're on hold in March. They're likely on hold in May, unless something dramatically changes, which is possible. And then we've got about a 50-50 for a cut in June. And that's where the bond market is now priced in. It's where Fed futures is. And, um, and I think that's fine given the data that we have. We still have more data to go. And so these things can change. You know, the, for the year of 2023, what it's coming down to is this dichotomy between deflation and goods. Goods were down about 0.5% on the year for the calendar year. And services were up about 3.9%. And so that's, that's the difference between those two things. And you get the numbers that we've got today. And again, the Fed is looking at PCE a little bit more than CPI because it registers what consumers are actually spending money on on a monthly basis. So it's capturing some changes in consumer spending and some habits and some trends more real time. And the analogy I gave in the Ask Brian was, you know, if the price of pork increased substantially with inflation, you know, you could have consumers just change demand and instead, produce, instead consume more beef, maybe at a lower price. And so the actual rate of inflation on food may be different because of that trend change. And PCE is, it tends to do a better job capturing that, whereas CPI is, is a bit more of a, a, a fixed basket. It does get updated, but not, not monthly like PCE. And so it's just a little difference between the two. Um, the initial jobless claims on the day were, were 213. We were expecting 210. But, you know, again, I mean, anywhere in this sort of low 200s range is about where we've been for, for quite a while and uh, is still indicative of a quite healthy labor market. And so these numbers are, are fine and in line. Um, consumer spending for the month was up 0.2%. Again, this is coming off of the good old holiday spending time in December. So January was up a small amount. It was up 0.2%, which is the lowest in three months. But uh, incomes actually rose 1%. And I believe that's a good thing, which is people made more money and spent maybe a little bit less of it, which is good. The savings rate in this country is only 3.8%. So I never really worry about consumers not spending money. They're going to. It's a part of our culture, frankly, what drives the economy. But if, we're, if the rate of expenditures is increasing a small amount less than the rate of income, I'll take it. And if that were only the case on the public level, right, in, in the government. So all that to say, a decent day in markets. Tomorrow we'll have Dividend Cafe, as we always do. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll have it in your inbox in usual style, which is great. We've got some manufacturing data with ISM and PMI out tomorrow. But other than that, I will let you go for the evening. And I wish you all a very good night. And if you happen to be watching CNBC uh, uh, World tonight, I'll be on Street Signs. You can catch me at 6 p.m. Pacific. With that, I'll let you go. Uh, have a good night. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.